The IMLVT program is one of WCR's flagship projects launched in 2015 to evaluate 31 top performing coffee varieties from around the world in 18 different coffee growing countries at 29 research sites. Most of the varieties included in the trial have never been tested so widely around the world before and their performance is being evaluated on three high priority traits of yield, disease resistance and cup quality. In 2022, the program turned seven years old, meaning a critical mass of original trial sites reached maturity, and now we have the maximum amount of data coming in, we're seeing some interesting results, and are starting to think about the next stage. At the inception of the trial, we gathered 31 top performing varieties from around the world and sent them to partner institutes in participating countries. Each partner planted their varieties on one to three test plots, so that's 29 sites in total, and monitored the performance of the varieties under local conditions. Now, seven years later, we've collected a significant amount of data and we're in the process of analyzing it to determine a number of things. First, we're looking at what are the best performing coffee varieties for each country's unique environment. Second, which varieties are adapted to a wide range of different environments. In other words, which seem to have a basic resilience across different climates. And then third, as scientists and coffee breeders, we're looking at how much environmental differences affect the performance of the same genetics, or how much genetics by environment interaction there is. This knowledge can be utilized in future breeding to create even better and more climate resilient varieties. The trial generates critical knowledge for national coffee institutes, coffee producers and agronomists about how varieties respond to different climates and conditions, including environments with extreme weather like high temperatures and long dry periods, which mimic the change that growers are already seeing all over the world and will continue to see with climate change over the next 30 to 50 years and beyond. Researchers identify how varieties respond to different environmental conditions and which ones are broadly adapted to a wide range of conditions. This lays the groundwork for new variety introductions, coffee breeding, climate adaptation strategies and future research. With data on how varieties perform in terms of yield, disease resistance and cup quality in these varying climates, the coffee sector can make more informed decisions about which varieties to grow in which environments to ensure better long-term success. WCR has shared the data collected so far with national partners to identify their top performing varieties. The goal is then to support our partners in multiple countries to use both local and global data from the IMLVT to make informed variety choices and negotiate legal access to new varieties. We are really starting to see the enormous value of this unique global trial and we've only just begun the more in-depth analysis and I'm really keen to see what insights we're going to gain from this. Over the coming years, WCR will focus on publishing this results with our partners to increase the knowledge of varieties and their performance in different environments. We'll also be undertaking an extension phase at a subset of the trial sites to give us more longer term data that will enable us to have greater confidence in the recommendations that can be made out of this trial. And we'll also be working with our individual partners to support the transition to commercial variety release through negotiating variety rights, scaling to on-farm trials and variety registration in individual countries. The results of the IMLVT program will continue to inform future research. For example, the program serves as the foundation for WCR's latest endeavor, Innovea, the Global Arabica Breeding Network, in which international partners are collaborating together to breed better coffee varieties for the climate of the future.